In this video, I'm going to show you how to use keyframing and crossfading. I will also show you how to increase the audio gain and change the channels from left to right. In this edit, the original sound for our interviews was too quiet. In order to make it louder, I right-click the audio and select audio gain and adjust the gain by 20 decibels. I listened to the audio and checked the levels to make sure that it was balanced. The audio sounded very clear on the left side of the audio levels. To balance the audio out, I right click the audio and select audio channels and change the right source channel to, to the left. As you can see now, it's balanced and it's in the right range of decibels. I did the same thing for one of our Vox Pop interviews, but this one was a bit loud. So in order to reduce the volume, I selected audio again and reduced it to minus five. As you can see, it's reduced now and it's in the right range. I did the same thing to Gloria's interviews. So I selected audio again and adjusted the audio by 20 decibels. As you can see, the volume has increased. I listened to the audio and checked the levels to make sure that it was balanced. The audio sounded very clear on the left, on the right side of the, of the audio levels. To balance it out, I right clicked the audio and selected audio channels. And changed the left source channel to the right. As you can see now, it's balanced and is in the right range. The original music for the documentary was good as it showed on the audio levels. But in some cases, it was put on top of the interviews and it was a bit loud. So in order to make the music a bit quieter, I had to make sure that there would be no audio while the interview is going on. By doing that, I used a cut tool to separate the audio apart. Then I clicked the music piece that is under the clip of the interviews and deleted it.